State your name for the record. Storm's in. Since it's been a while, just got to run through some questions with you. Um, as you know, this channel is pledged to provide a certain amount of its content to educational purposes. So I've just got a few questions to run through. Um, they're not particularly funny, so we're just going to go through them as quickly as we can. Then we can get back on with the little sketches and things, a bit in Stormzy lyrics with films. So, um, just a quick heads up, all the questions are about the tellies in a telly tubby stomach. So if you've got any problems with that, just want to switch through. It'll only take about a minute, a minute and a half. Right, are we ready? So, question number one is, does a telly tubby have to pay a TV license on the telly in its stomach? Now that's quite a simple question to start with, but obviously there's quite, I can see a sort of um, a personal versus the political debate occurring there. Maybe a high court judgement after a Teletubby campaigns for several months. I'm um, not really sure how that one will work out, but if you've got any answers, please let me know. Uh, question number two, probably the most popular question I get through the old YouTube inbox. That is, can a Teletubby's telly pick up Babe Station? or is it blocked for some reason? Obviously there might be some sort of age restriction on. It is a children's TV program, but you know, they're just actors, so I don't know whether there'll be any jurisdiction there to ban Babe Station. Number three, uh, can you get cancer of the telly? I've written there, cancer of the telly. Um, the telly tubby looks like, um, the telly of the telly tubby looks like it's made out of the same felt as the telly tubby, so I can only suggest that it's organic, so it might be susceptible to cancer. I don't know, maybe it's mechanical, maybe these parts can be replaced, maybe you just sort of get a fake telly and you can place it in. And number four, um, was the digital switchover in 2012 uh, over to Freeview? Uh, was that actually a genocide in Teletubby land? Were well, lots of older Teletubbies rendered obsolete uh, with millions of deaths? Like I said, I don't know. I've just got to get these questions out to you, otherwise I lose my funding. So if you've got any of those answers, please leave them in the comment section below and then we can get on. Great British Railway Journeys is on at 10 o'clock, but up next on UK TV History is a brand new series of Nazi megastructures. This week, the team take a closer look at Albert Speer's massive cock. Recently, Unilad, an organisation so tin-pot it couldn't even be the number one scum site with the word lad in its name, announced that GTA 6 was in the works. Now don't get me wrong, I'm as excited as the next person for a new GTA, but I just think the map's going to be a bit small. If it truly is going to be in the works, I can't help but feel it's going to be difficult getting a blister compact around all the books.